Hi guys, welcome to another football video and today we are just going to be discussing the Champions League final. In the Champions League final, Chelsea are taking on Manchester City at the Estadio di Drago in Porto. Ooh, you're hard. Show it. it is a massive game for both clubs, being Chelsea's second, well, third Champions League final, second chance of winning it because obviously they lost to Man United, um, and Manchester City's first Champions League final and first time to win it, given I think about £1.3 billion pounds they've pumped into the club. When you talk about Man City, there's many chances like they're going to have in the game with such creative players. They've got like, you talk about it, it's like Kevin De Bruyne. Um, he's obviously one of the greatest creative players in the world currently playing. Then they've got such great forward movement. Mahrez is creative, Sterling's creative, Foden's creative. They're, they're going to have an onslaught of attack against Chelsea. And I don't, I know Chelsea have dealt well with it recently in recent games, but I just don't know how they're going to hold up, like, in, in the actual game itself. Because I know they've done well recently, but that is also a lot of heavy rotated Manchester City side. So one of the games, Stefan was in goal. Honestly, Edison's going to start in goal tonight, even talking about him taking a penalty. Um, who else is going to go? I oh, was missing. I think there's a lot of changes with, like, Walker didn't play some games or Foden didn't play some games or De Bruyne wasn't even in one of the games, all that sort of stuff. But. I do look at these these recent form of Chelsea against City and I think that is promising for Chelsea because Tuchel's obviously worked out a way which can beat that false nine system of Pep which so many teams have struggled in and he seems to organise his team very, very well like he's done in the, like he did in, like I say, in the semi-final of the FA Cup and all that sort of stuff. He's done in many other games like he did against Real Madrid, like he did against Atletico Madrid. Very well organised, very well structured, take the energy out of the game and then put the game to bed with some good play like they did against Real Madrid perfectly to be honest in my eyes. Um... Although that wasn't the greatest Real Madrid side we've seen as of late, it was still a very impressive team. And Chelsea made them look fairly, fairly average. Um, my bet for this game is it's very like it's it's very up up in the air because I I really I think I am going to go with the favourites. I'm going to go with a Manchester City victory, but I'm just a bit. I know Chelsea have it in them to win, and I, if they do win, I think Timo Werner will be absolutely vital to them winning. Very false. Very, oh, very false. True. No, no, no. Ooh. Very, very false. It's so false. Yes, he's not scored a lot of goals for them this season. But I think he will be... If if it's going to go Chelsea's way, he will be a key component. He will either score or get an assist or something like that to cause him to win. Or he'll win a penalty, which is technically count as assist or something like that. He will do the thing which leads to Chelsea winning the game if it happens. Because people, a lot of people are slagging him off this year. Yeah, he's not been great. He's not been good enough in front of goal. Let's be honest. That's just, that's just a fact. He's not been good enough in front of goal. But he does, especially in these games here, his pacing behind, his runs, his deception, especially against the team like when they play with Liverpool as well, it's created so much, so many chances for other players and so many other things to go in in the game, which has led to more chances for Chelsea to win the game. So I think that, although I do believe Manchester City will win, I do think they'll win about, I'm going to go, or oh, I won't take just yet, but I do think Manchester City will win. I think Chelsea do have it in them, and I do. If they do win, it'll be Timo Werner as one of the key catalysts to why they do win. With my score prediction wise, I think I just think Man City can have too much for Chelsea. I really do. I think Pep's going to have think thought about this game ever since he came into to manage Manchester City, and he's going to be thinking about how he can win this. He he he's been preparing for this moment ever since. Ever since he got the Manchester City job, because that was the aim of the job. That was the end of the appointment. The end of the appointment was not to, oh, Pep, go and win a league title. They've done that before. They wanted the Champions League. The amount of money they spent, they wanted the Champions League. So, this is what Pep's been brought on to do. So, I'm sure he's been, and that's why so much pressure on this moment, because he must have been anticipating it for so long. Whereas Thomas Tuchel, he got the job in December or January. This he, he's, he's done really well to get here, but it's not as much, I don't think there's much pressure on him as there is the more experienced league winning Manchester City side with a manager who's been there for like four years now four or five years to win the Champions League but I do think City will be ready for it and I do think they'll win I oh, final scores I think after the first half it's going to be 1-0 Manchester City and I think Chelsea will score early doors in the second half perhaps maybe make it 1-1 and then, but I think Manchester City will then score to make it 2-1 and then Chelsea will come back on the counter to try like, go, have to come out their shells last 10-15 to try and get another goal to take it to extra time or then to go get two to win it and then I think Manchester City will score, to get, score again to win the game 3-1 that's my, my prediction for the final I think it's going to be a great game because it can't be as worse as the other English Champions League final we have with Liverpool and Tottenham 
where it was possibly the deadest Champions League final in a long time. Because Bayern PSG, like I'm wearing another Bayern shirt, um, Bayern PSG was not a good game, but I think it was still better than that Liverpool Tottenham one, just for how poor both sides were on the day and Liverpool got a win in the end. But I think it's going to be a great game. Hopefully it will have a, like, a, hopefully it'll become a classic, you know what I mean? You always hoped when you're watching a game for it to become one of the games that's talked about for years and years to come. Like like an Istanbul game, Liverpool versus AC Milan or something like that. You want something like that to happen so it becomes remembered forever and you can say I was watching it or not necessarily I was there but I was there live watching it on the TV or whatever because there's only be a few fans in the stadium. Um, yeah, that's been it. Hope It's just me today because I was a bit busy but um, we'll be returning some more with some more content. We've got some... Um, we're going to do some, like, reviews of the season, so, like, some tier lists of, like, how teams did, sort of thing, like, ranking them, some, like, some cool stuff for the Euros, maybe some even, like, highlights of, like, reactions to goals for England games and all that sort of stuff, and Euros predictions will be coming out soon. So make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.